All right, hey, I'm Brian from Elise Sommelier. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you a series of wines, a progression we might do in a night. So, let's make this kind of quick. If you can afford it, I would do a bottle of 1919 Vouvray from Huey, Chenin Blanc. I can't even explain it to you because you probably can't afford it and you would never taste anything like that. But it's definitely earthy and funky and you gotta like funk sex to like that one. Next. Merceau Coche Dury. He's one of the kings of, of Burgundy. Saline, mineral, lean. There's Pierre Moray. He was the winemaker for Le Flave. Another rock star white. What else? I like a lot of south of France wine. I like that dirt and barnyard for people. People don't know it, but they love Bandel. That is the flavor of barnyard, dark sun-baked fruits, olive nassois, herbe de Provence, sex, leather, forest floor, forget about it. Let's go over the other side. <sighs> oh yeah, burgundy. I think I just picked up about 15 cases of various DRC. Not gonna see a lot of that around. A lot of money. That is Burgundy. Oh. Uh, 82 Aubryon. That's not a bad way to finish a meal. Bordeaux's for bankers, Burgundy's for poets. Take a choice. What else? Oh, I almost dropped it and I would have killed you. 67 or 71 Caor Malbec from Caor, which is in France, not South America. Malbec isn't supposed to be blueberry pancake syrup. It's supposed to be this, a little dirt bag. This is the black wine of the Knights Templar. This is what they used to drink right before they go out and kill people. Okay. All right, let's wrap it up. I guess we could do one of the big boys. 59 Lafitte. Lots of people love that. I go Berg more, but uh, boy, all these things turn into Burgundy. 59 Lafitte is Burgundy and pretty and sexy and delicate. And well, I guess so we're going to wrap it up from there. So there's a quick trip into the wine room. If you come in here sometime, I'll show you the real works. All right. Ciao for now.